Welcome back everyone. On this episode we are going to trim up all the fiberglass in from last week and start bilge painting in here and the bottom of the floor get the floor in. Then that's pretty much all of this toilet done inside. We're going to see if I can get a couple hinges, get the door on and maybe start cutting the panels for the seating area or start bonding this. Okay, let's get into it. yeah so all I want to do first of all I think is trim all this up give it a good hoover give it a good clean ready for the bilge paint um, cause it would stop the floor going down so I need to cut all this off um, next will be to bilge paint that and the bottom of the floor but first of all we're getting to cutting that Okay, that's all nice cut now, so that's all flat, sanded off. Uh, it's time for build painting, just in case you like, haven't seen my last episodes. I just used the build and locker paint. I opted for the grey. Um, I think it says it hardens in 30 days, but obviously it'd be touch dry way before that. Uh, yeah, if you see any of that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna build paint this. I might do the board outside first. Uh, like everything, I wanna make sure I get two coats on everything, so it's all nice. Um, I won't paint, I'd, I'm only painting the bottom, because like I said before, I'm gonna do something different with the sides and everything, so I'll only go so far up. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on with that. Okay, just a quick one, change for mine, just starting to spit out there. It's not the best day today. So I'll just paint it in here. Now I can go straight over to that and paint that. Uh, yeah, let's go on with it. Okay, and that's the bottom of the floor. First coat, looks really good. And then all in there. So I've left that for now, because the floor actually sits like that. It don't actually go all the way to the edge because the way of the boat, if I, if I pull it up all the way up there, you're losing two more inches in, in head space. So that's why that's like that. Um, and I've left it without bilge paint, just because I'm not 100% sure how I want to finish the floor yet. I don't know if I should put a little bit of bonding paste in there, smoothing it off to the to the actual boat itself. Um, but for now, that's perfect. I want to I want to give this a second coat. That a second coat. Let it go dry, and then that can actually go into place and not be moved until I need to work out what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so I think the next thing is wait for this to dry and do the second coat. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and that's the second coat on it. All done, perfect. So I think for now I'm gonna have to let this dry and then come back tomorrow I can get that in. I might even go and get some hinges, just get the door on there, just so it's not leaning all the time, it can stay up there. And um, then we can start working on our way out here, either start bonding, fitting the seat in around. Here I've just got to cut some panels out, that should be pretty simple, three of them. Uh, we'll go from there, okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, new day, all nice and dry, ready to go in. That's dry, so I can now get the floor in. I've just been to the shop, got a couple hinges for this just to pull it on. And also, uh, Loki suggested I'm gonna try getting this steering wheel off. And I have got a ball bearing puller. So we can check that out later and see how that goes. Okay, so let's get this floor in and get the door on. Okay, and there we have it, the floor's in, and we have now got a door. I've got to put a trim in on the inside just because it's so thin that it needs bowing to work the way the shape of the boat is. If you see, when I open it, I've had to put a little bit up there, and it probably needs a little bit up there. And then that will pull it just a little bit is it probably about five mil um but no i'm happy with that got the door in I'll put a frame in later plus you want a frame in to give you a bit more privacy to get rid of all this you see the window through that gap there so that would be half and half i think the next thing is to try this new uh wheel bearing puller, see if we can get the steering wheel off and that'll be a big good job done because then I can come in here and finish off that little bit when I've got time. Uh, so yeah, let's go on to that. Okay, that was a struggle. So I first tried that one, this is the big, I've got a set of three. It's the bigger one, won't fit in properly. So I've done the little one and then these wouldn't fit behind it. So I had to smash them in with a hammer. Um, but the arms were too small. I went back to the big one, managed to get it on there, but kept slipping off as you can see on the time-lapse. I got some rope, wrapped it around the ends and cranked it and cranked it and it wasn't budging it's, it wasn't moving at all and then while it was still tight on there i quickly gave that a couple yanks and we are free so that worked perfect i think the only thing i might need to do is just if you can see it's all smashed up there just where it's been pulling so so what I'm gonna do is probably just get a new steering wheel. I think everything else is fine. Okay, and that's the whole steering out, all done. There's a screw there that's snapped off, which holds on the 
cover, but that's not a big issue. I'll ground, grind that off. I can even realign them somewhere different. They don't have to be where they are. But that now means I can fill all of these holes in, which are the only major holes left in, because um, obviously I filled certain ones up there and down there. Um, yeah, so I want to say a big thank you to Loki. She suggested it in the comments um, to get the ball bearing puller and it worked perfect. Um, so now I can crack on and sand inside, fiberglass it, bond the paste, and that'll be done in there then. Uh, so I think the next thing will be is have a little tidy up. Tidy everything up, see how much time I've got left today, and then I can start working on the seats down there. Um, all right, let's get on with it. Okay, I know cleaning's a bit boring to watch, but I thought I'd just put on here anyway, but it, it makes spoke look so much better, bigger. Um, yeah, so I've just got to take all that stuff home, get rid of the empty containers and all that, take tools home. Uh, so yeah, this is the transom board I was talking about. It's an inch thick. Um, so I probably will start that in a couple of weeks, just see what your suggestions are um, in the comments. Uh, so yeah, I'll just quickly show you around. Obviously you've seen it, but yeah. So my next part I'm gonna work on is up here. Uh, so I'll lift that up. It's, it's a good old cleaning there, but this is um, in drop down below. There is a curve, I don't know if you can see it, see it drops down like that. So the board actually sits in there perfect. So what I'm gonna do is cut all of these out. Just, just a bit like this. But it's gonna be cut into the thing so it drops down flush. Um, and there's three of them. Big one under there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna reinforce that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, just because it is a bit of a long, I might fiberglass this anyway. Because what I've noticed, I don't know if I've shown it on the video previously. I'm just going to move up there. It looks like someone's done a repair job up here, and then what they've done is just let all the resin come down and sit down here. And when I was checking it out, if you look. I'd say that's at least 10 mil. Just sat there. So that is it. That's how much. Just crazy. So just rowing. I think one of you did suggest that they might have had a hit. Obviously, that's a big patch job they've used woven. And by the looks of it, they've only just used woven. So might need sanding down, redoing. Um, not too sure yet, but that'll be a later project. Like I said, if we can get these seats in, then this area will feel a little bit better then, and I can work on other stuff. Uh, so really in here, all of, a few things I've got left will be the anchor locker, which will reinforce all of that, um, if you can see. So that needs to come out, because that's snapped there. Uh, that one already come out when I took the groove out, the supports that snapped in half. Um, I've got the ceiling left and the kitchen area. And that is pretty much done in here, but that's still going to be a few months work. Um, and like I said, I might even, 
I might leave that till later in the year so I can hope I can get the transom and the bottom of the boat all done, painted, anti-failed, ready just in case I do get a, an opening in the mooring. I can um, go and pull it in and do all this work on the river, which ain't a big deal because I've got all the wood on and you know. But enough of that, I'm gonna, probably gonna be it for today. I'll come back tomorrow, get these cut out and then see what my next job is. Maybe bond and order this one up, ready for fiberglass in and then that's the toilet completely finished and maybe work on the steering area. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, new day. I'll make this quick. Uh, so I've decided I'm going to do the seating. And then, because this will be the last day today, so I'm trying to I'll get all the seating done, cut out properly. And then next week I can focus on just the bonding around there, behind there, and up near the steering area. Uh, I can spend all week on it next week, uh, where today's the last day. So I thought, get the nice seating in and go from there really okay let's crack on with it Okay, and that's them all cut out, nice and easy. Um, the only thing I do have to do is probably, on the edges, is just sand them down on an angle just so it fits in the groove a bit better. But looking at these now, what I'm thinking about is where the edges here, is I might actually screw them down to it and actually cut a hatch with two hinges, put the hole there so you can open it. Uh, that will reinforce all the finagin. Do it on all of them. That'd be a lot better, especially this one. I might even, when I cut the hatch out, is actually put some reinforcements just on this one because it's so such a big area uh so yeah I'll, I'll crack on with sanding the edges down just so it fits in there nicely okay Okay, and as you can see with the time lapse, what I've done is I've just put, let's see if I can line it up properly, just put a little edge on it, just a tiny bit, and I've curved around the edges and just gave the other side just a, a quick go over so it didn't do nothing but just take the rough off. And they fit perfect. Right, oh. All of them fit really good actually. I was quite surprised I've done it the first time. Even though you do measurements, you just always expect to mess up, but yeah, happy with that. This one, this seat seems to be the best. Um, it's nice and solid. These ones you can see, it's either the seat or the boards, more likely to be the, the seat in. Just needs pushing down. So once I screw these in, it should take form. Same as this. All three corners are really good. And then it's just this one just raised a little bit, but the minute I put a little bit of pressure on it, it touches. So 
I think I'm gonna leave them like that for now. I ain't gonna screw them in, I ain't gonna do the hatches just yet. I think that'll be a later date, once I know 100% what I'm gonna do. Um, so the next thing will be, will be um, probably next week now. Uh, there's not much I wanna start with only such a little time. Um, so I think next week what we're gonna be doing is now these are in, I can start bonding all of this up. So I've got all of this downside. Um, trim this up just so it's nice and flush. And then I've got a bond up that little bit there. And then if we've got enough time with just the bonding should be okay. Once I'm done bonding, what I'm gonna do, give that a lot, give that a sand. Get some tape on that one, that one, and that one. That one I'll keep originally for the steering wheel. Bond them up, and then that's ready for five glass and as well. Uh, but yeah, that'll be next week now. So I'll see you lot on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.